Composing. There aren't composers like that. There are composers, of course, but not just flooding sort of, the, ways, the, right, way, the way they right. were then. The convergence of these great careers yes. at the same time and all yes. knowing each other and interacting and playing off each right. other and things like right. that. So, yeah. was there a lot of was there a lot of cooperation rather than competition? Oh, I think them? so. Yeah. Although people like Bernstein stood out so tremendously. Now, the one downer about Irving Pine, who was one of the sweetest guys in the world, was that he was jealous. Of, they were at Harvard at the same time, practically. Mm -hmm. uh, he wanted to be as high up as Leonard. Mm -hmm. Well, he, he was a quieter person, mm -hmm. uh, a, a gentler man, and he didn't have the ego. I mean, Leonard's ego was, was up there. Mm -hmm. It had to be, to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's one thing that, that uh, I noticed. Uh, you have to say Irving Fine certainly has a stellar reputation. You know, oh, he was a great for, composer. Mm -hmm. He would have gone on to be, I think, one of the, you know, um, Leonard was always sorry that he didn't write the great symphony. He wanted to be known for his mm -hmm. his serious writing, not West Side Story. <laughs> right. And then, of course, it's the opposite. It's West Side Story. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and um, Irving really wrote gorgeous music that a lot of people don't know, too. Is, uh, great one. Arthur Berger was a name I was trying to think of mm -hmm. because he was a very good. He taught at Brandeis at the same time as er when Irving was there, mm -hmm. and wrote very well too. He wrote a piece for us which wasn't that great. <laughs> but since you don't know I'm here, you, you won't say anything about it. Lips are sealed, right? <laughs>